welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Like how I did that? That's called magic. Okay, today we're going to learn the tune Kerry Polka. It's an Irish polka, a great and fun beginner's tune. I'm going to teach it to you in the key of G, although it's normally played in the key of D. The reason why is that I think it's a little easier for really for real beginners to play it in this key. And at the end of the lesson, after you've got the tune and you've mastered it, I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch it to D, its original key. So you kind of get two lessons in one. You learn this tune and you learn about transposing to other keys. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, here we go. Here's the tune, Kerry Polka, in the key of G. So, I'm going to learn it in a very step-by-step -step manner. I'm going to first play you the first quarter of the tune. The A part, there's two parts, an A part and a B part. And most fiddle tunes are structured like that. Okay, so the first quarter starts with this phrase, which starts first finger on the A string. By the way, I also have all the fingerings, left-hand fingerings, written out below in the comments field. So here's that up close for you to see the fingering up close, starting first on the A string to D. First on D, open D. Here's that phrase again. So we do this phrase twice in a row. So I'll do that right now. Extreme close up on the left hand. All right, that's the first quarter and the third quarter of the A part. So you already know half the A part. Congratulations. Here it is a little quicker. Second quarter begins third finger on the D string. We're going to go start with that little piece. Starts third on D to open A. And then we're going to add. 3, 1, open on the D string. There's that again. So the whole second quarter sounds like this. Listen to the first half, so the first quarter and the second quarter put together. Once up close. Let's do the second half of the A part now. It begins with the third quarter, which is the same as the first, which you know. And it ends with the fourth quarter, which is similar 
to the first, which is this. Here's that up close. Once again. The whole second half. Let's do that now. Now I'm going to play the entire A part. Now we're going to do the B part. The cool thing about the B part is it, it borrows some things from the A part. So you, you actually already know a lot of the B part because the second and the fourth quarter from the A part are also the second and the fourth quarter of the B part. Pretty cool, huh? So these polkas, these Irish polkas especially, are very catchy. They're like the pop tunes of fiddle music. So anyway, let's start off with um, the first quarter of the B part which is this. I'll break that up a little bit for you now. Let's get a close up on the left hand. We're going to go one, three, one on the A string. And then that's going to be followed by another one to open. So the beginning of this quarter is bow in view. That's followed by, on the D string, 3, 1, open. So let's put together the whole first quarter. Starting first on the A string, remember? a more full view. Pretty cool because that's the entire first quarter and it's the third quarter and you already know the second and the fourth quarters so believe it or not you know the entire B part already. Let's, let's see how this was put together. So let's do that first quarter again that we just did. second quarter, like the second quarter of the A part, is this. Alright, I'm now going to play the whole first half of the B part to carry polka. Here we go. Three, four. The second half begins with this as well. And then we go to the fourth quarter, same as the fourth quarter of the A part. So here's the whole second half, the B part. Now I'm going to play for you the whole B part to carry polka. Three, four.
Now let's do the whole tune together, and then we'll transpose it after that. So the whole tune, one, two, ready, go. B part. Good, nice playing. Normally you play two A's, two B's, but normally when you do polkas, they're a lot faster. But more like... So, but um, for doing it real slow for beginners like that, it makes more musical sense to my ear to just do a single A, single B. So, cool. And we're almost done. Now all I'm gonna do is do the whole tune but I'm going to start instead of first on the A, like this, like we learned it, I'm going to start first on the E string. And without going too much into theory, that puts it into the key of D. And this is the key where the tune is normally played if you go to an Irish session somewhere and you're drinking a Guinness, you'd be play, playing the tune in this key. So I'm going to play it in kind of a moderate tempo, the whole thing, single A, single B, but now in the key of D, all right? And uh, here we go. Feel free to join in. Three, four. All right, cool. Well, I hope that was fun. And uh, if you have any questions, write me a message. And if you like the video, subscribe using that button, red button somewhere below, above. I forget. And uh, also, feel free to tell me what I can do to improve it. So I want to make these as good as possible for you. Okay, thanks again for watching. So long. Excellent!